In this lesson, we are going to look at five reggae bass lines that aren't all Bob Marley, that are perfect for beginners. Hi, I'm Luke from Become a Bassist, and if you're looking to nail some reggae grooves on bass but not sure where to start, check this video out. <laughs> Welcome to Become a Bassist, where it's all about insanely practical, no BS bass lines designed to get you playing better bass, having more fun, and becoming the best bassist you can be. And today we're gonna get stuck into some beginner-friendly reggae bass lines. You know, the kind that almost force you to put a smile on your face. Reggae has so many great bass lines, and if you've ever wondered where you can actually start with reggae, Bob Marley is a great place to start. In fact, a lot of people's only, uh, you know, meaningful exposure to reggae comes from Bob Marley, but there are so many other great artists Artists, and we're gonna go through a great mix of them today. These songs are all super fun to play and a lot of them aren't really that hard at all to learn. It's just about getting the groove and the feel right. But let's take a look at how you can start nailing that reggae feel with these five bass lines. The first song we're gonna go through today is The Tide Is High. You might know the Blondie version, which is probably the most famous, uh, but today we're gonna to be looking at the original by the J Jamaican band, The Paragons. It goes like this. Now, that's how it sounds. Uh, if you do want the tabs and backing tracks we're using uh, today for all these uh, bass lines, you can download them for free by clicking the first link in the description. But let's talk about how to play this one. So we're starting on this G right here, fifth fret on the D string, and then we're moving straight to a C, which is the third fret of the A string, and then up to the D, two frets above, fifth fret of the A string. That's the only notes we're using in this whole thing, that G, C, and D. And the rhythm we're using most of the time is this Ba 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 just like that. On the C chords, we do get this da da ba ba both times actually that C chord comes around. Ba 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 ba. We've got a slight variation at the very last um, bar in there. Ba 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 ba. But for the most part, that's our like kind of rhythmic uh, pulse. Dun dun dun. Ba 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 ba. Just like that reasonably simple, right? This is such a great song to get started with. It just uses those three notes. So get that rhythm under your fingers uh, and you're basically set. Uh, you also don't have to be super strict with uh, the rhythms on the C and the D either, the third and fifth fret on the A string. There's some slight variations throughout the song on those notes, which just keeps things a little bit interesting. So check out the recording to get some other ideas as well. You might also notice that the notes we're playing here, they're not like really long, kind of ringing out. They're kind of very short, very neat, very staccato. That's a classic feature of reggae bass stuff. It's very rare that you play a whole note kind of, you know, ringing out like this or like pumping eighth notes that you find in like pop or rock music. So just keep that in mind, having the notes just a little bit kind of separated, standing individually. Now, another thing that's super important when it comes to reggae bass is the tone, right? If you listen to this song, you'll notice that the bass doesn't sound super bright, and, and that's the case in most reggae. The bass will usually sound really warm and subby, uh, and you can get this sound super, super easily. No need to go to buy new pedals or strings or anything like that. Just simply turn down your tone knob all the way uh, so it rolls off those high frequencies. Uh, if you've got a passive bass, that's usually just one knob. If you've got an active bass, it's a little bit more uh, m maybe involved. So for example, on, on this bass, I'm playing ex exclusively through this pickup, and I've got my bass all the way up, my treble all the way down. Getting that kind of sound. If I go the opposite way, turn everything else up, and then I'll get this really kind of tinny sound. Right, that's not what we want in reggae, right? We want that super, super low end supporting the whole thing. But our next song is Red Red Wine by UB40. It's one of the most recognizable, you know, reggae style songs out there. It goes like this. So 
the four root notes that this line is based around is this D flat, fret four on the A string, then it moves to this G flat right here, second fret on the A string, and then up to the E flat right here, sixth fret on the A string, and finally to this A flat right there, fourth fret of the E string. And you were playing octaves on all those notes. So D flat, octave there, G flat, octave there, E flat, octave, A flat, octave, just like that. Now the bulk of the part is really centered around playing the octaves in this kind of rhythm. But you can feel there's a little bit of a skip before, you know, beats two and four. Just like that, right? And once you've nailed the rhythm, you've really just got to remember those little extra bits on the A flat, and then the one on the G flat, and then that's pretty much the whole thing. But even then, it's the same rhythm, right? So let's play it through one more time with the track. One, two, three, and... go round and round and round, lock into that groove, and you are golden. Now, we said we weren't gonna do all Bob Marley, but we've gotta have some, right? He's Bob Marley, he's the man. So next is One Love by, you know, the legend, Bob Marley, and the main riff of the song sounds like this. Three, uh. Let's go around again. Yeah? Now, this bass line's quite melodic, right? Uh, it helps to listen to it a few times to get it really kind of in your mind. Uh, it's played by Family Man Barrett, who has contributed some awesome bass lines to Bob Marley's music and is really, really well respected in uh, the bass world. Check out the Bob Marley album Exodus for more of his parts. As far as how to play this one, super, super simple to start off with. We're just starting on two low B flats. Boom, 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 boom. It's almost like a My Girl thing. That kind of thing. It's not, but it's, you know, similar kind of vibes. <laughs> so we've got those. Over the F chord, we get C, E flat, F. So C, the third fret on the E string. Sorry, third fret on the A string. Uh, first fret on the D string. And third fret on the D string for the E flat and the F. And we get that twice. And then we get this little line here. So we get B flat. D flat, E flat, so first fret, fourth fret on the A string, then first fret on the on the D string right there before going back down. And then to finish off, we go back to that E flat and then up to this F that we played before, first fret th on the D string, third fret on the D string, and then we get this C right here, third fret on the A string, and then we jump up to this high B flat right there. So we get dun, dun, boom, boom just like that. Another thing you can do to get a really solid reggae bass sound is experimenting with playing with your, well, first of all, your thumb instead of your fingers. So doing this kind of thing. A lot of players will do this to get an even thumpier kind of uh, bass sound that you can, you know, just fit into the groove a little bit more. And you can also use this kind of fleshy part of your palm to help mute the strings like this. So you might get... And it also shortens up the notes as well, which again, sounds very, very reggae-ish. But let's try this one more time with the track and actually using that uh, new uh, technique. Two, three, here we go. You can also potentially go on that very last note low B flat. We'll do that this time. Right there. Instead of playing that high B flat up here, you could also play first fret 
on the, uh, the A string right there. Next, we're gonna check out a song by Bob Marley's youngest son, Damien Marley, called Welcome to Jam Rock. Now, this is probably the most straightforward song from the five we'll look at today. The bass part is just one main riff for the entire song, and here's how it goes. That's the whole thing. Essentially two ideas that are basically the same, right? Got that one, and then the one that starts on this. Just right, like that, right? Now, we're starting on the sixth fret of the E string here, a B flat, moving down to the A, fifth fret, and then to the G, third fret on the E string. Now, every other time we also play a D right here, the fifth fret on the A string, sounds like this. That's our first kind of idea. And the second idea, we're just adding that D right there. Same thing both times, just one note added, just to give it a bit of a, a, bit of a kick along. This bass line is such a great example of how much space you can leave in a reggae bass line. After we play that G here, there's a fair gap before we play again, right? Uh, we can count. It's almost like we're playing uh, less than we're not, sorry, we're playing, uh, we're leaving space more than we're actually playing, right? We're leaving a ton of space for the other instruments to shine through, and it really helps give the, the bass a really cool kind of groove, right? And this, this song actually won uh, Damien a Grammy. So let's play again with the track one more time. Now this one is probably the easiest out of all the bass lines in this lesson, so have some fun with this one. Another Grammy award winning reggae artist is Jimmy Cliff, and his song Wonderful World, Beautiful People is pretty easy to learn, and you know, this is another one that just makes me smile, right? We'll look at the part which is, you know, the intro and the chorus, and it goes like this. Go to the A. Uh. Yeah, great song, super super cool. So we're starting on this D right here on the on the A string, fifth fret on the A string right there, and for a while we're just cycling between the D and the G. The third fret on the E string right here in this rhythm. Again, remember, we don't want to kind of make everything super long. You want it to have a bit of bounce, right? Just like that. Um, and, but then after we play that, uh, the, the cycling between the D and the G thing for a while, we shift to this A right here, just fifth fret on the E string, and we get four bar, well, three full bars. Third bar here. And then we get a little sneaky two four bar. And then we move right on to the last kind of line where we're cycling between D, C, and G. So we're getting the fifth fret on the A string, third fret on the A string, and then that same G we had before, third fret on the uh, the E string right there. Dun, dun, dun. C, C, G, 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 D, 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 C, C. And then on the last bar, very last bar before we kind of go back to the top, we're going back to this A right here. Ba, 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 ba. Just like that, right? Now, the, like I said, the only tricky thing to remember is that little bar of 2-4 right there. So let's play along with the track again and make sure and listen out for, uh, for that one real quick. Where's my track? Here we go. 2, 3, 4. Again. Just D and G. go, last bar, up to the A, second bar, A, here we go, two, four bar, one, two, bum, 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 bum. yeah, 
yeah? Now, once you've got that under your fingers and you're over, all over that 2-4 bar, you can just enjoy locking into that groove. There are so many great bass lines and different songs you can check out from all these different reggae artists we looked at today. But if you want to master these ones first, make sure you download the free tabs, notation and backing tracks and run through these bass lines uh, for yourself. Just head to the link in the description or click right here, fill out the form and they'll be right in your inbox so you can get to practicing and nailing that reggae feel. So I will see you in there. Oh, 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 oh,